Welcome back, friends and family. On the last episode of Saving RuneScape, we spent a majority of our time at the Shadow Reef getting our butt whooped by the Ambassador. By the end of the video, we managed to start getting consistent kills and knocked out nine kills of the Ambassador. Unfortunately, we didn't obtain any of the signature Eldritch crossbow pieces, but we did manage to bring three new people to RuneScape. We got them leveled up, we even donated some gear to help them get kitted. And in this episode, we're going to be teaching our friends how to PVM while continuing to go for our next upgrade, the Greater Chain Ability Codex. So without further ado, strap in, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think of the series. Without you all, this channel would not be growing as much as it is. So thank you so much, and without further ado, let's enjoy today's episode of Saving RuneScape. So one of the people that I brought to the game last episode has really been working hard. They got 80 ranged in the last episode, and I decided to donate them a Xerite bow. However, another thing that 80 range gives them is access to the Twin Furies, a God Wars 2 boss. They're actually Zamorakian generals for God Wars 2, so he's expressed an interest in doing some PVM, so today we're going to teach him his first boss. All right, we've got kill count. He managed to take some damage. I'm gonna give him some food and I'm gonna bank. You can't actually tell in until you get the Wars Retreat teleport. All right, so we're working on our first kill. Honestly, this boss is pretty interesting because I'll kind of walk through the mechanics as we go. You've got one sister, the white sister. She will fly uh, toward one of the, the walls of the room and basically surge through and slam you into another wall if you're in her way. The second attack they do is right here where the red one will fly up in the sky and start raining down range attacks. I had already had my sunshine on the ground so I didn't really avoid the mechanic. I just kind of nuke them. That is one good thing about having a fractured staff of armadillo is when I teach people how to PVM uh, I can basically nuke the boss out of existence at least on mid-tier bosses like this. So this is a good place to learn, to be honest. There's not a lot of profitable drops, but the whole point is for my friend to have fun and get his first bossing experience in. So hopefully we get some cool stuff and he enjoys himself. We're going to be doing a lot of God Wars 2 this episode, I feel like, because it's a great place to learn PVM and the requirements aren't that difficult. So I'm here doing a little mining and my buddy has made a lot of gains so I've kind of decided that I want to donate some some gear to him. He's been working really hard. He's doing Slayer right now and he doesn't actually know that I'm about to hook him up with full Armadil. So Armadil is actually still pretty expensive in this game. It's roughly 30 mil I think for the set so we're going to hook him up with that. He's been working really hard. And some people may ask, well, why do you do that? Why do you give people stuff? Honestly, it's because karma comes around. So I just wanted to include this clip just to show how much my friend has been grinding. This is another friend that I brought uh, to the game last week. Not the guy who I just gave the armadil to. This guy has been working so hard. As you can see, he's went from full Mystic to being able to wear a Virtus and probably is going to be 99 Magic inside of another week. So, great job to him on all the hard work. I think after we get done here, I'm going to work on editing video 6. I record a couple weeks ahead of time, so everything you see is a couple weeks prior. And we're going to continue to do a couple of God Wars 2 bosses in hopes of getting another pet this video. I would really enjoy that. Two videos ago, I got three pets in like a day, so I'm super eager to see what happens. All right, so sorry about me having to adjust the camera, but I actually just got a Crest of Saren. So at God Wars 2, instead of having God Swords, they basically have God Armor, and each boss drops essentially Armor Hilts. These can be used on anima core pieces that the bosses drop to create god armor. Each god has like a different type of armor. For example, Hellware has magic armor. The Xeros boss drops uh, melee armor. The Sliske boss drops hybrid armor. And the Zamorak boss drops range armor. So we're here. We're making our Saren, uh, our Saren god legs. And we're going to try and sell them. I honestly don't see people use this often, so 
hopefully we're able to get rid of it. Um, it says it's worth a little over 20 mil, so I'm going to try and put it in right around 20 mil. I would def oh man. Okay, it doesn't sell for that, but we'll just chuck it in the GE for a little bit, and hopefully by the time we get done doing some other PVM, we can sell them. Alright, so we are taking our buddy, that guy Stink, to his first Hellware trip. Um, we've already kind of gotten lucky and managed to get a Orb of the Cyber Elders while he was uh, rebanking. He ended up forgetting some stuff, and while he was there, I got a orb i'm gonna split it with him of course i would be a jerk not to but yeah he's made some pretty great gains so he's here learning uh learning his ability rotation and stuff at his very first god wars 2 boss it'll be cool to look back in time and see him doing all kinds of super high level bosses and to remember that this was his first all right so we just got a, another orb of the cyber elders um, we've been on an absolute tear. This is great. And to be honest, this has kind of all been AFK while I'm doing some other stuff, working on some video editing. I started a Iron Man recently, so this is awesome. Yeah, so, wow, I'm kind of blown away. Uh, I think my friend managed to, uh, get a nice payday in real life and decided to buy some bonds and donate a greater chain to me and I'm not gonna lie I'm I'm kind of like I know it's a video game but this is kind of choking me up uh because it just really means a lot to me I've I've never received anything wow that generous uh wow man thank you so much I, I it's really cool to see my um efforts pay off and you know I didn't expect anything from you but thank you so we're gonna Go and test out our brand new greater chain here at Zuck. And wow, I'm just still blown away. This ability is wonderful. Basically what it does is it hits multiple targets um, and applies your next ability to them. So you can like use this to hit multiple targets, but then use like a super strong ability like Omni Power to hit them all at once with it. So we're going to test it out here. I think it'd be a great pay place to see how it works out. Yeah, so this is absolutely smashing. This this is wonderful. I'm still getting used to using it. I need to get an invention perk that will boost the boost the damage that it does by letting it hit more targets, but this is so awesome. I'm still blown away. It would have probably taken me at least another couple weeks to get this taken care of, especially with as much uh, cash as I've donated to some new players, so this really made me happy. I may start working on getting Crip Bloom next. That way it makes uh, some of the grinds we're going to be doing for boss pets a little bit easier. I think that'd be good. Okay, so when you do a normal Zuck run, um, you can actually teleport out at different checkpoints. And I just noticed in my chat box that I had a pet. And I looked in my inventory and um, yeah, I just unlocked Willis the or Wallace the defense pet. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. He's a cute little guy. That's awesome, man. I wasn't sure we were going to end up getting any pets this video, so definitely nice to get that, even though it's a skill pet. But we're doing pretty good. We're maxed out, but we don't really have that many skill pets yet, so that's awesome. Welcome to the family, Wallace. All right, now we got the big guy himself. We're going to take him down. Uh, I've gotten pretty good at Zuck. I honestly need to learn hard mode so I can get the upgraded cape, but... That's alright, for now we're just going to stick this out. Maybe get 100 kills before I start learning hard mode. Alright, so I didn't get any uniques, but let's see what we've got in the chest today. It's usually still pretty decent money. Okay, that's not bad, it's about average. Yeah, I can't complain too much. It's pretty good cash here. Uh, even if you don't get anything, you still at least make a little bit for coming. And I, I've seen people make up to 20 mil in a chest. We're going to grab a Shadow Glaive from the Grand Exchange so we can make our Chroming perk. Um, it looks like it's not selling, so we're just going to leave that in and maybe go do some Nex and try and get Chroming later. So we're at Nex. I kind of feel um, I'm still really like reeling over getting Greater Chain gifted to me earlier. So I think what I want to do is um, donate about 100 mil to a friend who's been working really hard. You know, the greater chain ability is 730 mil or so, and essentially, you know, I, I saved that in having to go and purchase it. So I think I want to donate 
some range gear to a friend who just got 90 ranged. They've, again, they've worked super hard. They've been doing anything I ask when it comes to bossing and getting everything set up. So I think after this uh, next hour, we're going to go and hook them up with like a, maybe a Wyvern crossbow, some Sirenic or something. And do we get some Torva? Hook me up with some Torva. Or pet, no, give me pet. Nope. And nothing. All right, so we just bought our Wyvern crossbow for our friend. It's a nice tier 87, I think, crossbow. It's pretty great. Uh, and then we're also gonna buy them some fleeting boots. That way their rapid fire ability can be used while they're moving because I plan on teaching them next soon. Here you go, buddy. I hope you enjoy. And I'm actually going to be putting him to use next episode because I really want the next pet super bad. And a couple episodes ago, I hunted her. I think I got in around 200 kills and no pet. We made a crap ton of money. But we're actually going to go back and I think I want to try and upgrade to a noxious bow because now that the tier 95 god arrows have been released, I want to try them out and see how it compares because apparently it is pretty darn good there. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much. Please take just a moment and like and subscribe if you would like to help the channel grow. If you think I'm awful, please let me know why in the comments so I can try and do better to be honest. I appreciate everyone who's contributed, you know, both donation wise, bond wise, whatever it may be, or just like friendly words. When I get people who message me and tell me they love my videos. Even if it's one person, it's the greatest feeling in the world, to be honest. So I enjoy making you all happy. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And go out there and grind. Be kind to your friends and family. And be kind to strangers, too. Unless they upset you, then crush them. You all have a good evening.